have Long Beach. Uh, commodity is a coffee shop in Long Beach, and uh, every last Sunday or Saturday, I'm sorry, every last Saturday of the month, they have like a all cars welcome uh, for cars and coffee. Pretty cool vibes because you got a lot of old school Porsche, a lot of European, Italian cars show up, um, and obviously a couple you know, Japanese. So we're definitely gonna hit it up. Hopefully you guys enjoy the, the, the coverage and um, let's drink some good coffee. We need it. Peace out. Uh, to Camarari Long Beach. Um, the 2002, the BMW 2002 that you saw on the rollers, actually I just found his Instagram. Uh, I really like his car. So it was kind of weird that I saw him um, while driving. But uh, he's here, he's parking on the other side. Um, I just kind of quick parked right here on this little alley. Um, this is a coffee shop. Um, hopefully they don't ask me to move. Um, if they do, well, I'll move it. Um, as soon as I pulled in, I saw these uh, coke thrown in. And man, so nice I really like the uh, wide body over fender stuff that he got going on or she I think it was a lady who drives this could be wrong but damn it's our PF1s very nice really really like it super clean and in white too I've been digging white cars lately so uh, yeah, like I said, we're here early. I'm not sure what the official starting time is. I guess whenever, you know, there's coffee involved. Um, but uh, I like to get here early so then I can get some cars rolling in. Get to hear a little bit of how the cars sound. Very nice truck. Very old schoolish. It's beautiful. Very nice. F100 custom. Really, really nice. Really like it. Ooh, is commodity open already? Hope it is, because I'm, I'm, I really need coffee right now. This time they decided to park them a little bit like this. Usually they just have like two cars parked in front of the shop. So, um, getting a little bit more organized, which is cool. Like I said, I uh, expect a lot of old school German. So BMW and Porsche. Um, and then you'll get you'll get some uh, some Japanese definitely pulling in which is pretty cool very very nice like I said this is a BMW that I just found on Instagram it's pretty cool man I really like the I don't know what he did with the rear Frelanders if that's a company or he did it himself but it's really really cool the interior looks nice probably one of the best interiors uh, when it comes to there's no such thing as a blind spot on this car so this is really, really cool, what BMW did. Speaking of no blind spots as well. Very nice. And then a uh, little roaster. It's really nice. Very, very nice uh, steering wheel and dash looks proper it's actually very roomy i know you guys can't see i'm trying to put my hand as a reference but um it's actually very roomy i'm gonna be a little bit closer now it's very roomy very nice and then the the 8 30 that we also saw rolling very nice sedan as well very very cool got a little bit of a magnus walker touch to it with the handlebar, handlebars with the door handles, and then um, man, old school, old school, old school. Just beautiful. What are some of the best interiors? I don't know if Porsche ever thought like their cars were gonna be, you know, driven after 40, 50 years, but they are, and the interior is just. Honestly, so much better than some of the new ones. It just it has a different taste and, and feel to it. 
very cool. Um, I don't know if you guys know what I mean. Some some of these newer cars, they're just they look really outdated, um, especially for new cars. It just doesn't look good. Yeah, or park. Uh, actually, park over here. Okay. With your good buddy Ray and Ho, park on the other side. Like I said, we're always here early just because, I don't know, I want to catch some of the cars rolling in. Damn, this is very, very nice. Uh, I used to not like these ones. I used to just like the 991 uh, tail lights, but they've been definitely growing on me like crazy. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe one of these ones instead of the 991, like I've been stuck on for quite a bit. Um... I keep hearing 997 is uh, the last raw, you know, Porsche type of feel. 991 is a little too comfortable, and which is cool. But if you want something more of a raw experience, you should go with, you know, the 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 years before. It almost reminds me of like the Evil 10 and the Evil 9, 8, where people are like, you know, Evil 10 is cool and all. But it's a little too grown up for me. If you want, or bulky slash bulky. If you want something more raw, go with What's the up, Evo 9. Boy? What's up, senor? Um, but I don't know. Look at this. This is a homie ho. Um, it's a very beautiful wagon. Oh, I don't, I don't know when he got the visors. Maybe he's had them for a while. I didn't notice them. Look very nice. Very, very nice. Man. Look at that stance. And this is his daily, by the way. Um, Ho, he also has a DA, a very nice DA. Um, just, it's nice. A wagon done right. Good morning, senor. Cracking, man. How are you? I've been good. What's, my, my guy? Uh, is this you? Oh. What's yours? Oh, okay. I was like, I don't remember being this cool looking. <laughs> but I'm like, you guys move fast. So maybe, maybe I was like, you guys are already. Very nice. Love, love the wheels. Love the wheels. It gives me the JCTC vibes. Oh, in this case, I guess BTTC, British. Not much to say about this car <laughs> other than machinery perfection. That looks great. Ray was telling me all the facts about the, the wagons here. It's funny, cause I, thought, I thought we got some, but nope, I guess we didn't get any wagons. Um, so they have speakers on the top, little things like that, still in kilometers. Pretty cool to see. His race Mercedes Benz because a carholic. <laughs> he has E36 sedan, E30 sedan. He has this. Um, what else does he have? He has sedan DA. I'm sure he has more stuff that I'm not even aware of. But this is super cool. Very nicely. I saw a blue DA pull up. I wasn't sure who whose DA it was, but I just saw it right now. I'm gonna go check it out. I don't know who that is. Very nice. Sorry, I got distracted by a gentleman who was asking about the GoPro. Um, always down to answer some questions. I don't know much, but uh, I'm always down to answer some questions. Uh, speaking of questions i got so many questions on this livery 
how did that person want to go about it you know and, and it's so hard to choose the design that you want to go with um, I personally really liked what he did with it it's just it's you know off to the side um, it's hard it's hard to choose a livery that um, will suit a car very nicely obviously we know these colors go with m3 bmw in general so we know it's gonna work fitch nets nice um but we don't know the design of the uh that's that's a tight fit right there with the head the headrest so very nice So yeah, um, very nice livery. I really like what he did with it. This is a very nice car. White wheels look very proper in there. And then um, I saw this ZA over here. I thought it was uh, I thought it was Brian um, B Rock, uh, but it's not. I saw him from far away. So nice little DA with some M5s. Super cool to see. Very, very nice. So this is a coffee shop that hosts it. Um, obviously, gearheads. Didn't have my chai latte, but uh, the gentleman uh, was nice enough to give some suggestions. And uh, we're gonna try a rose gold, a not rose gold, but a gold latte. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Awesome. Ooh, looks pretty. Let's go. Thank you so much, sir. Let's go check out more cars outside. <clears throat> this is really rad. I mean, you come out and then you see this. You have to. You have to look. Some of the older gentlemen sitting down. Uh, he said something that was funny that I've heard before. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Maybe Rob from Canada will know since he knows every single freaking car. <laughs> Shout out to Rob. I'm glad he's been uploading more. Oh, this is cool. I'm glad he's been uploading more on his CRX. It's fun to see the videos, man. I haven't catched the one that you sent me last with the tires. I will. Just a matter of me having to sit down and check out a few of you guys at the same time. But uh, I will. 2CV6 Club. Have no idea what that means. Suspension. Tiny little bumpers. We like it. We like it. It's all right. It's cool. Um, the older gentlemen were saying, you know, back in my day, uh, the cars had manuals on how to, you know, adjust valves, do things like that. You know, just maintenance, either preventative or, you know, taking the car apart and things of that nature. He's like, in my new Cadillac, the very first thing it said, do not, um, do not what something along the lines of like just take it to dealer and <laughs> do not engage with the engine <laughs> i thought it was funny sniff but don't scratch um that was hilarious to to uh kind of get that sense of times have changed and and yeah cars are now designed for you to not mess with it they're designed for you to take it to the dealership um which is not you know it's not bad it's not not bad i would say i think especially technology has moved up so much so i get it but at the same time you know especially for individuals like themselves who are used to breaking things apart and putting it back together and there's a manual you know it's it's just it's laughter i would say very very beautiful 3.0 cs ask me what that means i have no idea but i really like the steering wheel and I really like the design of this car. You guys can see by the glare. 
sick wagon we saw at uh, the other Carson Coffee in Long Beach. Uh, fell in love with this style uh, wheels and fan um, that he put on. That's something that I definitely want for good old Rosie. Um, I do want to do things to Rosie. I know <laughs> some of you guys commented, just leave her alone. I'm not going to do anything mechanically until she gives out. And even if she does give out, like I'm probably just going to put in refresher. Um, but I really want to buy some OZ Racing wheels and uh, some fans like that one. Like this wagon has. And then just uh, do that look. I have been looking into getting the JTTC wing. Um, the company has been kind of slow on returning my emails. At first it was me who was slow, then there was them. So I'm being patient about it. Um, I'm not gonna rush it, but I definitely do want a GTCC wing. And um, honestly, if I don't put it on Rosie, then just to keep it, I think it's a pretty cool piece. The fact that I'm still able to get it, it's pretty dope. Um, and some of you guys may be wondering, why in the heck are you talking about an old clunker Accord when there's a beautiful E30 M3? Welcome to the channel. <laughs> That's what I do. I mumble and rumble about everything except whatever's in front of me. But no, this, this is, um, I mean, we're looking at some pretty hefty money here which is definitely really cool to see. Speaking of hefty money and pristine condition, wow, oh my God, this is wow. I mean, you guys have, I mean, the, the GoPro does not do justice on this car. I, I'm just gonna say that right now. It does not do any justice. This is pristine. I mean, look at that. Oh, you guys cannot see the interior. This thing is gorgeous, even has a Honda hat. Wow, that spoiler. One of my favorites for sure. One of my favorites for sure. 2.0 SI. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Kudos to the pre Prelude owners. A little more Porsches. very nice got the safari look to it Porsche 912 interesting I don't know what that is I thought it was a Volvo for a Volvo uh, Audi for a second BMW very nice He's also a biker. He got his bike in the back. Very nice. Wagon. Ooh. Wagon, wagon. It's gorgeous. Very nice daily, I would say. Morning. Love the car, man. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I Here we'll get a little bit of closer on that. Nice wheels. One of the Watanabe's could be something else. A Cortina GT. Mm, the GT too. Talk about interiors and how people used to go and design them. Super cool. Nice little angle. Man, it's starting to heat up. This thing is really, really good, guys. I never had that gold something. Commodity, nailed it. Probably gonna have to come back with my wife here. Be like, hey, let me have one of those, please. Oh, I just wiped the... Yeah, I didn't bother wiping it. 
Nice car, man. Thank you. I, I was just whacking it in there. Already fucked up the sticker. Good. <laughs> I'm gonna back it up. and rotors. No wheels. I feel like the guy who goes up to people and says, like, hey, what do you do for a living? <laughs> I really like this combo. Yeah, we're park you guys. I was thinking about getting some wheels this color. Not these though, of course. Beautiful car, man. Um, but I was thinking about gray on gray on Jackie, I think would look good, nice. Yes, yeah, no T's. So I talk so much on T's. No C E 28s as well. I I don't know. She's not the biggest fan of them. They look great. She's not the biggest fan of them. This is heavy money right here. Pretty crazy. Pretty cool to see nevertheless. And then uh, this 2002 also showed up later. Very nice. Father and son. Richard Liam would be his IG handle. Shout out to the homies from Renown that make steering wheels. Got a little hectic in here. Ooh, nice M3. Beautiful. And a uh, beautiful blah bye. Talk about full. We got a full lot already. Alrighty, guys, this is gonna be my full coverage of commodity uh, cars and coffee. As you guys saw, a lot of euros couple hondas um or i curious i should say but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, until next one really appreciate the love